Hi everyone, welcome back to the next video of this entire series where we are talking about SharePoint Online. In the last video, we used Power Automate to create a condition-based approval workflow in SharePoint Online. In this particular video, we will use Power Apps with SharePoint Online to build an application. We will learn what is Power Apps. We will create an application using SharePoint Online data. We will learn how to customize an application in Power Apps, how to publish an application, how to share the application with the users, and how a user can access the application on a browser and on a mobile phone. If we go by definition, Power Apps is a collection of applications, services, connectors, and data platform that provides an environment to develop applications. You can integrate Power Apps with Excel, SQL Server, Salesforce, and you can create powerful applications. These applications are very easy to customize. You can change the entire structure of the application. You can make the application available to the users, and they can access the application on any device and from anywhere. In our today's example, we will be using SharePoint Online as a data source to create an application. I have a team site in SharePoint Online with name ID, and this team site has a list with name contact list. This list includes information about employees or the new joiners. It has columns like first name, last name, contact number, email address, and the organization name. And we are going to use this information to build an application using Power Apps. Before you start creating an application using Power Apps, please ensure that you have a Power Apps license assigned to the users who want to create the applications or want to access the application. And once you assign the license, you are ready to create Power Apps applications. So to use Power Apps with SharePoint Online, you will click Integrate and then go to Power Apps and click Create an App. And you will be redirected to Power Apps Studio where you can develop the applications. And as soon as this is fully loaded, you will see this message, Welcome to Power Apps Studio. Start customizing your app or preview your app. Click Skip. Now here you can see all the information that we have within our SharePoint list. Let me increase the font so that this is visible to you. So this is our contact list application, but there's a lot to modify yet. So please stay connected and keep watching. In Power App Studio, you have lots of elements that you can use to customize a particular application. On the left, you can see the layers of this particular application. If you want to select a particular area of an application, you can select these layers. For example, if I click here on this search button, this will select search icon. If I click here, this will select icon refresh. So either you can select the section from here or you can simply click here and this will select a particular section. On the right of your screen, you have the properties window. If you select any section of this application, based on that selection, you will see the properties on the right side. If you want to preview this application, you have a play button at the top. Click on this, and this is a preview of this particular application. Let me increase the size of this application so that this is visible. This application is not yet published. So the other users will not be able to see this application. So this is how our application will look like. At the top, we can see the title of this application. If you want to refresh the data of this application, for example, this data is coming from the SharePoint list. So if someone has made changes within this list, you can click refresh and this will fetch the data from the SharePoint list. You can sort these items on the basis of ascending order or descending order. If you want to add new items within this application, you can click plus. 
this will open another form where you can fill in all the details and once done you can click on this option and this will add a new item and when you add any information within this application this information will be updated within this sharepoint list let me show you this practically let's click add and let me add few details here and click this icon we can see this user is added here test user and let's go back we do not have test user here click refresh and we can see test user is added the one that we added from the application on this application we have a search box where you can search of contact from this list for example if i want to search chris so i can type the name and we can see the entries that start with chris if you want to delete a contact click on the contact and click on this delete button and this will be deleted if i remove this we do not have the other name that starts with chris and if you want to modify a particular contact click on the contact click on this pencil icon and let's say add some numbers here click tick and this is added if you want to see details of any contact you can click on the contact this will show you all the information like first name last name contact number email address organization name and if you go back to list we can see the same information here as well this is the user tim barry and this is the number this is the email address and we can see the same information here now let's customize this application if you want to customize an application you need to first close the preview mode so to close the preview mode you will click on this cross icon at the top right and now you are in editing mode so first i want to change the color of this bar at the top now if you notice when i selected this section the associated layer of this section was selected on the left if i select refresh this will select refresh button if i click here this will select the corresponding layer if i click on this button this will select this layer so either you can select from here or you can select from here as well so to change the color of this bar i'll select the complete section and on the right of your screen you will see the properties related to this particular section so we want to change the color so next to color we will click here from this list you can select any color as per your requirement or you can click custom and you can type the color code here for example i have a code so i want this color for this particular application if you want to move these icons so you can simply select the icon and you can drag it like this or i want to move it here so i can do like this so you can customize this application as per your requirement if you want to change the color of this entire page you can select the complete area like this so this is selected on the right you will find color click on it and let's say i want this color so like this you can select or maybe this color so like this you can select the color as per your requirement now if you go back to the sharepoint list we can see these columns like first name last name contact number email address and organization name however within our application we can only see first name last name and mobile number if you want to display more information here select this section this complete section and at the top click insert and click text label let's make it small 
and let's decrease the font as well maybe 12 so like this so this is the email address we can move these items to here and the email address here now if you notice the changes that i'm doing here within this section all the changes are getting applied to all the sections of this particular application now let's assume we need the last name in front of first name so it should be like first name then last name so we can select the last name and we can move it like this so now we have first name last name mobile number or the contact number and then we have email address and same changes are applied to all the contacts now let's say instead of email address i need company name so i'll select this complete section on the right i'll click here next to fields and here we can see contact number email address last name and first name so instead of email address if you scroll it down we have organization name so now we can see here instead of email address we can see the company name or the organization name which is added within this list if you want to display the email address as well so select the first section go to insert text label and let's make it smaller and let's say i want this next to mobile number now here i'll select this section i'll click here and instead of organization name i'll select email address not this one i'll select here so now we have first name last name mobile number email address and the organization name so like this you can customize the application as per your requirement and when the application is ready you have done all the changes all the customization as per your requirement you can click save at the top right this is the save option click give this application a name for example my contact app and click save but this application is not yet available to the users because we haven't published this application yet to publish an application on the top right you have this option that says publish click on this now on this page we will make some changes click edit details under name you can click edit and if you want to change the name of this application you can change from here under description you can add a description for example this is an application for contacts something like this then we have app icon and under icon if you click this drop down arrow you will see icons that you can use for this particular app icon and if you want you can search for it also for example this is a contact list so i can look for contact and let's say i want this icon so you can see this icon is changed and if i want a different color i can click here and from here i can select a different color for example maybe like this and if you want to change the color of the icon you can click here which says icon fill and let's say i want this black so this is also changed so this is how this application icon will look like on a mobile phone or on a computer then we have auto save i'll leave it enabled and then we have can be used offline so if you want this application to be used when users are not connected to the internet you can enable this option you can also control display settings for your application 
copilot updates and once you have done all the changes click close click publish again and here click publish this version so now this application is available to be used by your users if you want to share this application with someone click share and this will open share settings here you can type the name or the email address of the user with whom you want to share this application and you can also give him co-owner permission on this particular application with this permission user can use the application he can edit the content of the application and he can share this application with other users so let's check this option and click share now on the right you can see my mobile phone screen i have power apps application installed from play store and i'm logged in with this user concepts user who is the administrator account and he has power apps premium license assigned so let's open this application we can see the application here this is the same icon that we designed while publishing the application you can also go to all apps and you can see the application here let's open it and we can see the application that we just designed so here we can see the list of all the contacts we can see the first name last name mobile number email address organization name now if i click on this contact i can see all the details and if i want to edit this particular contact i can make the changes and let's say i want to delete a particular contact i can delete this as well and if i make a new entry here let's add a random email address so we have this entry here that we just added and if you go back to sharepoint list and click refresh so we can see this user test user 2 that we added from the application so this is how you can use power apps with sharepoint online to build applications using information or the data from the sharepoint site so that is all for today if you learned something new from this particular video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and if you have questions or suggestions feel free to write them in the comments below thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video